can't remember which one I did next. I know that this is one of them. Coming up soon though. So <laughs> I'm doing nine intros in a row. So hi everybody, this is Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are so glad that you could be here with us today. Now this was a completely fun one. This is a bronze slash brass with stamps and triangles. Oh yes, now I had a piece of uh, cardboard sitting on my desk and so I went ahead and used it. Where I used the stamps was back in here and also on these, hard to tell, the lights going down here. Um, I, you'll see in the video where I used the stamping. I stamped with alcohol ink, so I've used um, paint, alcohol ink, and cardboard and glue. Pretty cool little composition though. I love how that one's turned out for sure. Okay guys, remember that this is part of the contest and uh, all the contest rules and information, they're down in the comments. So check it out and be sure to jump on over to Messy Hand Band of Artists and uh, show me what you're working on. I love to see what you're doing. Also, Patreon, if you get a chance, uh, you know, I would really appreciate your support 100%. If you cannot support, I also understand that. You are still a valued part of our team and part of the group if you cannot support Patreon. However, it does help me um, greatly if you can. Okay, guys, enough blah, blah, blah for me. Here's your video. I hope you have a great day and we'll chat soon. Okay, three left. Dun, dun, dun. I hope my numbering's right. My counting. Bronze. Oh, it's a pretty color. Pretty color. See, we were waiting for all of these uh, uh, non-color wheel colors to come up. Stamps. Now, I could, you could use any stamps, so you can use your regular stamping stamps. Maybe that's what we'll do. Triangle. Bronze, stamp, and triangle. Oh, how am I going to do that? I need a color that has more value change than just bronze. I guess I could try adding white and dark to it, but I kind of like just doing the It's a quandary. <laughs> it's a quandary. Still thinking, and like, what can I do with stamps? You know, either using like stamps, stamps, or like uh, stamping stamps, because I love to use the alcohol ink with the stamping stamps, and I think that would be great. But then, how do we show the difference color wise when we do that? Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Then I still gotta do triangle. I'm gonna gather some stuff. Uh, I still have some cardboard here. I just saw it here on my desk. Um, maybe we'll just cut some triangles out of cardboard. Let's see what we can do. We'll get to the table. Bye. Okay. And remember, use whatever supplies you have on hand. I just had this sitting here on, I know, this makes pretty cool stuff. I want to vary the shapes and the sizes. It's probably plenty. Cardboard does really create some interesting designs. You know, if you can use it beyond, uh, I like to transcend the cardboard as much as possible. When what that means is I like to push it past just looking like cardboard if we can. So we transcend the material and we have different Now, 
Now, I know that I've used cardboard a couple times. Should I not use cardboard again? I actually like using cardboard, and this is my universe. So, um, you know, do what makes you happy. That is the key. Let me find my bronze paints. Should be right here. Famous last words. Should be right here. What color is bronze? Bronze is pretty similar to... Let's look here. So with the alcohol inks, we can see that the brass, I'm going to call brass bronze, and the copper is redder. So it looks a lot like the gold, though, too, doesn't it? Um, I, I think if we... Um, what, what do I have that's actually a bronze color over anything else? I think bronze is... See, there's gold. Gold is more yellow. We can call it brass bronze. It's hard to know. Hard to know uh, what exact color it is. It's probably a mixture of the two. So our bronze and gold and um, copper fairly similar. Bronze, brass, that would make more sense. Okay. Ooh, I got a lot of copper out there. I probably don't need that much copper. And some gold ploppage. Plop, plop. Uh, we do know that Cardboard soaks up the color, soaks up the paint, and I'm going to add in a little bit of burnt umber to this to um, get my value scale. I'm not going to use black with this. And um, let's see if we need any white. Stamps. How are we going to stamp these? How are we going to stamp these? I don't know. That's a hard combination. It really truly is. Not gonna lie, it's stumping me a bit. Okay, so, okay, so that makes more sense. Let's do that. Here's my Princeton. I'm gonna want nice coverage on this. Dip it just along the side of the water, all right? actually a really pretty color like right there. Oops, you guys are crooked. I'm sorry, how'd you get crooked? Can you see everything okay? That's a gorgeous color. Wow, look at that. I don't know if I've really ever mixed copper and gold together. But boy, I love that. Ooh, like plopping it on there. Giving it a little bit more water because this um, cardboard is so absorbent. Making it a looser uh, viscosity. Okay, let's pull in our tile. Let's see what happens when we add a little bit of that burnt sienna to this color. That burnt sienna is a little chunky. 
meaning it's kind of dried out a little bit within the tube itself. Uh, but look at that color. Ooh, raw umber mixed with copper and gold. That's gorgeous, guys. Is that raw umber or burnt sienna? It's burnt umber. <laughs> so there's raw umber and burnt umber. And they're pretty close. Um, all right. So this color I'm not a huge fan of. I'm putting it in there though, so that you can see um, that you can, you know, we don't need just all this intensity, uh, the shininess. So all I did was add titanium white to that and that really changed the property of that color. Made it kind of this mm, mud color. It's actually skin tone. That's like a perfect match to my skin tone. How funny is that? I could bronze myself. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Don't don't do more of that. It is a really pretty color, though. Uh, I could really see that on our, uh, you know, when we're painting our faces or something like that. Oh my god, my hair gets keep gets in my nose. It makes it itch. My nose is itchy. Maybe I need to go get some allergy meds. That would probably be a good strong plan. There we go. Didn't love that color. All these other colors were so vibrant and then it's like kind of a deadish tone right there and I don't like dead colors. That one's cool now. I like having the variety on them. Boop, boop, boop. But more of that burnt umber gave it a really cool color on the White made it more opaque is what it did, actually. Kind of. <laughs> I realize I am talking in circles, guys. Sorry about that. I'm not, not meaning to. All right. So, stamps. All right, so this is my beat-up ink pad. This had... Um, just a uh, pigment ink, so it's not a permanent ink. And um, I'm gonna pull out this brass color. Now, this is a pinata. I buy these larger bottles because they're so much more economical than the little bottle. It's a four ounce bottle instead of a half ounce. Um, I have not used this brass color very much though. So I just take it and suck it out. I don't need that much, I'm sure. Oh, look at how cool that color is. Wow. I think I need to use that more often. And it doesn't look like there's any sinking in left to do on this guy. Although the alcohol ink does dissolve in there pretty quickly. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Nice. I do love this technique. Oh, hey. I love this one, too. Except we're supposed to be stamping. That looks pretty gold, doesn't it? You know that's going to get all over. You just know it. There's some things you look at when you do and you're like, oh, that's danger, Will Robinson, danger. <laughs> all right, you can see I use this quite often with this technique. Um, Will it ruin your stamps eventually? Most likely. I don't know. Will it? Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That one's stuck. It's stuck, Mom. Oh, look how cool that is. Seriously, this is a great technique, guys. Um, it's one that I use quite often and one that you should keep in your toolbox is just thinking about stamping with the alcohol inks. Um, it makes the coolest patterns. And especially when you're on a dark background, it is to die for. So what I'm doing right here real fast is I'm gonna make this deli sheet because it needs to be made into a deli sheet. Uh, look at how gorgeous this is. Of course, I'm using up all my paint. Uh, So remember that the burnt umber with the gold and copper, beautiful color. This, I love it when I stumble across skin tones. I'm like, oh wow. Yeah, that red will fit right in there too. You bet it will. Now, I'm trying to leave some uh, transparent spots because um, that is you know, one of the cool things about deli sheets is when they dry, uh, they have a great transparency to them. Oh, God. Don't put your fingers in your tool. Supplies. Now, I'm actually making a second one here, aren't I? Why bother with this? Well, why not? Is it off the subject? Yep. You mind? I hope not. Oh, that's, look at that right there. So this is how we make cool scraps for future use. All right. Oh. Set that to the side real quick. And uh, we're gonna pull back this guy that's probably getting all over everything. Okay. I know I'm wasting time here. So the paint is coming up, I think a little bit on here. And also that alcohol ink in here does dry. It's not the most economical way to do it, guys. But I love the results, so I do it. Those are beautiful. Can you see that as a background? Oh, yeah. You probably think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Dang it. I might be a little crazy. <laughs> There's actually a good chance I'm a little crazy. Okay, let's come back to this guy. So I just want you to take a quick look at how beautiful that is. That's cool. 
Now we want to be sure that we're creating contrast. Um, let's grab the E6000, or I'm sorry, let's grab the Fabri-Tac for this. Well, this one I like, this side, I like that side better though. I honestly do. So I'm remembering my values. I like having the darker to the light. My texture differences. God, it's hard to know which one's better. Which side is better? I think they're very cool pieces. I'm honestly just really not even thinking about it much. I just want to get these pieces down. I am definitely, um, just by the nature of how I work, I'm pushing things towards the center, leading our, you know, creating our center of focus in there. That one has a really nice glow to it. Oh boy, it's time to shut all the windows and get that AC on. Oh, it just, just started to heat up. Right, put that guy right there. All right, I think that's super cool. Uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then uh, I think I will trim these edges. They got a little bit out of control. I'll probably leave a couple hanging out over the edge because I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I do want to see if I can move this at all to where we're seeing more of that inside. That little focal down there, that little inside bit. I dig that. See how we're leaving that center right there? My little vortexy thingy my harbor. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, we'll come back. Well, actually, we probably won't come back. You'll see it in the intro how I finished it up. Okay, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me while I played with bronze and triangles and stamps. Don't forget that this alcohol ink brass, the rich gold, I would highly recommend. The copper is really pretty. Um, these are Jacquard products. You can always use the Ranger products. They are more expensive than Jacquard, I believe. Uh, Jacquard might actually be catching up in cost. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, all right, I hope you have a great day. We will chat soon.